We're back and we're so happy to see four time Emmy winner Jim Parsons. He is stealing hearts in his new film. It's called Spoiler Alert. From falling in love to saying a tearful goodbye, it is the true story of TV journalist Michael Asiello and his late husband, Kit. Take a look. Merry Christmas. You're staring at me. Yes. I love, love you. you. What the hell? Oh, that was my line. Well, he hesitated. You said no, you lose. I did not hesitate. Did. I was giving the words room to breathe. Well, let the record show. I said it first. No, no kid. At the very least. <laughs> so, I mean, you're getting the romantic comedy <laughs> vibes, but you will cry by the end of this movie. You might. You might. It's um. It's it is a. It has it has its serious um, moments. It it looks at life and death and love and really how you have to risk getting your heart broken in order to experience those things. And this is a project you took on. You, it, it's a book, and you yes. you decided you were going to read this book on vacation. Well, what I knew happened? Michael Osiello because mm -hmm. of working on TV, and he'd interviewed me several times, and he asked if I would conduct a QA and a at Barnes & Noble for him. And um, I said, sure, and I had never read the book. And so I took the book on a vacation to read, and my husband, Todd, watched me read the book, which meant he watched me kind of sob through the mm -hmm. book, and he was like, do you think it'd be a good movie? And I said, I don't know. Yeah. And so he read it and he sobbed through the book yeah. and he said, it'd be a good movie. Let's try and get the rights. And so he actually asked Michael at the Q&A if he would consider. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it feels so meant to be in a lot of ways. Your story is different, but it tracks yeah. a lot with mm -hmm. our main characters in this. What was it like to be telling a story that is so personal about real people who lived, some of whom you know? Yeah, it was, um, it was, challenging um it was extremely rewarding it felt like it felt really like a privilege to be able to tell this story that i did relate to in many different ways but also had been michael really opened a vein when he wrote this book mm -hmm. and gave so many beautiful and brutal details and um it, it really tells the story of two people who go on this insane journey together bound by their love and um yeah, it felt it felt like a, a beautiful responsibility to tell it as honestly as possible. And in, in addition to all the things you're describing, yeah. Michael was there on set with you as you were he shooting was. this. Did that add <laughs> pressure or insight or what did it add? What you know, it? it didn't add too much pressure only because Michael was so sane about it. He yeah. said over and over, I understand there's a difference between my real life story and the, as truthful yeah. as we're making this, there's a difference. Um, and because he kept saying that, I didn't feel overly pressured. And instead, it was a real gift to be able to look over. And always, every time you saw him, it would reground everything going, yeah. this is his story. This yeah. happened. These are real people. And um, as an actor, for me at least, I find that very empowering. Uh, empowering. There's a lot less invention that must go on. Um, it's right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it physically was right there in some cases. Yes. Kit, who I, I don't think I'm giving it away. No. <laughs> Spoiler give, alert. Spoiler yes. alert is the name of the of the, the, the book, um, and mm -hmm. the Kit passes away. But some of his, he was a photographer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of his, his cameras, some yes. of his treasured possessions yes. were right were there, there on set. On set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really like having a talisman. There was, um, you know, without being too uh, frou-frou about it, there was spirituality to each of these objects, that this man whose story we were telling, these were the things he used, these were the things he treasured that meant the most to him, and it felt uh, very special to get to utilize them in the retelling of this. Well, um, now on to your kind of cool personal life, your husband, who also loved the book and yes. optioned it. Um, you guys have been together, what, 20-plus 20 20 years? 20 years this November. Yeah. What, what do you think it is that makes a relationship last that long? They always talk oh, about Hollywood God. relationships not making it. Yours yeah. does. Um, we've been very fortunate. Yeah. I'll say that first and foremost. We've had good health, and the rough times have been, fortunately, not too rough. Um, but I do think since the beginning there's been a real respect for each other as far as career desires, life desires, and sometimes those, like they did with this movie, mesh up like this, mm -hmm. and you're together 24-7 for a beautiful time. And then uh, no love lost when you each have to go a separate way to do mm -hmm. other projects and be happy for the other one mm -hmm. that they're doing that. Um, it's easier said than done, but uh, 20 years... Yeah, we're managing it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's and this is yeah. a, an amazing labor yeah. of love. Jim Parsons, thank you. Thank thank you. you. Spoiler alert in Select Theaters Friday and nationwide one week later, December 9th. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.